Welcome to Abhipedia Mains 2016 question and answer discussion. Today we'll be taking up how to handle the ethics paper, that is paper, uh, GS paper 4. Now GS paper 4 ethics involves objective questions as well as subjective uh, parts to it. Now it's easy to answer the objective side by referring to preamble, constitution, DPSPs, fundamental rights, duties. Whereas it is the subjective part which needs to be highlighted and uh, worked upon. Usually what students do is, when they encounter a case study, is that they weave a story and then uh, pinpoint the stakeholders there involved there and uh, refer to the uh, actions being taken mentioned in the case study and then critically analyze those actions against those stakeholders. Mm. But then this uh, is a shortcoming. This uh, the strategy does not uh, work well for the students, as we have seen here. And today we have Abhishek sir and Mona ma'am who will be uh, throwing light on these issues and how to take up ethical questions, especially case studies. So Abhishek sir, would you like to throw light upon this aspect? Yes sir, I have shortlisted three basic dimensions which the student must take care of while addressing the objective part and the subjective part as well. Mm -hmm. So case studies have both of them. So in the objective part, I have brought in uh, two, that is the legal dimension and the code of conduct. In the subjective part, I have brought in the transparency. Okay, ma'am also has brought in some uh, dimensions to that. Ma'am, what are your dimensions that you have? Uh, well, the dimensions that I will be covering, uh, first of all, is on the outcomes. Okay. Then about the ideals okay. and then about the values. So these are some of the major dimensions which we must take care while addressing the case studies. Because if you just go on the mean end kind of trajectory, then you are only uh, handling one part of the equation. But these aspects must be taken into care while addressing the ethical dilemma which is always there in a particular case study because otherwise there won't be a case study. Always there has to be some ethical dilemma. So first off, uh, let's take up the legal dimension. See, law is something which is built upon the basic fabric of society and whatever are the traditions going on for a very long period of time, the most acceptable parts of those traditions are built into law. Yes. So because of that nature of law, it must not be looked upon or uh, you know crossed, jumped upon while addressing a particular case today. So, ma'am, uh, like terminology is that superhero is not made. Always, in law, we try to address the case study in the case study. Because that legal part is also a quintessential to ethical part. Yes, because the letter and spirit of law are both combined always in its actual implementation. Second thing I'd like to help highlight here is the transparency equation. So in a particular case study, anything which promotes transparency, that should be addressed uh, and that should be taken uh, into consideration while addressing a case study rather than uh, something which withholds information. For example, uh, you know, within a state, people are the basic uh, masters. If we consider the master puppet theory, then master here is the public. So let's say in a democratic state when we say rule of people, so here in government is only holding the information as a trustee of the people, yes? And that trustee has only the right up to that uh, particular information which can be secretive is only that information which is beyond public interest or anti-public interest. Anything which is within public interest must be revealed. So any kind of ethical dilemma such as ki security issue hai, isko reveal kare hai, na kare, so, we have to transparency equation. Mein rakhe dekhna hai. Tisra, jo yahan pe aspect hai, mein, would you like to add something? Uh, yeah, uh, Abhishek, transparency is one aspect that uh, is in my mind. That transparency is also about your own action. Let us say I am a civil servant. Yes. You have seen many times that inquiries are going to happen. 10 years later, 5 years later, an inquiry is going to happen. Or there is a case on you. Okay. So, what I recommend to my student is that your action hai, that should come out clean on public scrutiny. Hmm. This is very important that in public scrutiny, mein, अगर आपको अपना एक्शन छुपाने की जरूरत पड़ रही है, that means it is not transparent. तो ये चीज बड़ी ध्यान में रखें आप लोग कि आपका एक्शन आज ही नहीं, कल भी दस साल बाद अगर इन्क्वायरी हो जाए, कोई रिट्रोस्पेक्टिव लेवल पे कुछ कमिटी या कमिशन कुछ हो जाए, it should come out very very clean. जो सही है उसके लिए किसी से डरने की जरूरत नहीं। Exactly, exactly. और जिसके लिए किसी से डर रहे हो मतलब वो सही नहीं। Exactly, आपको छुपाना पड़ रहा है that means something fishy is there. So third dimension which I brought out is code of conduct. So mostly in an administrative atmosphere there is a particular code of conduct and you have to work accordingly. You know, let's say for a particular decision how you must proceed. But of course there are some dynamic situations wherein a code of ethics will come into play and always a code of conduct cannot be built what is and what should be 
will need to be differentiated. And as what per should be, uh, as per the situation. So what should be, that is the ethical part, the code of ethics, that I guess needs a certain more dimensions which ma'am was highlighting. So what would you like to add to that? Yeah, uh, in that code of ethics further, I would like to highlight in three dimensions. First, as I just mentioned earlier, is the outcomes. Mm -hmm. When I say outcomes, so I would recommend that ki students writing in the answers, they should evaluate and see first of all ki what will be the outcome of my particular action. Right, and for this, four subsets, outcome on me, outcome on my family, outcome on the organization in which I am working with, okay. and outcome on the society. Okay. You know, that is very important. Outcome for the country then. Okay. And if we arrange chronology, we can think about it first. We think about it first because we are all human beings. We think about it first and we think about it first. What is my position? Hmm. But uh, uh, I request my students that if you are writing the answer, then order it and reverse it. And in the ethics paper, it justified. Lagta hai. First of all, your country comes in. Right, and then the organization comes in, which is employed, hai. and then the family. And if you need it, please take it to yourself. But for sure, this chronology is a justified or ek, uh, you can say ethical chronology which we should keep in mind, outcome. Ki. Okay. And then the second dimension is the impact. Okay. Outcome se hi related is the impact. मेरे एक्शन का सोसाइटी के ऊपर क्या इंपैक्ट होगा okay. मैं अपनी सोसाइटी को अपने कंट्री को किस डायरेक्शन में लेके जाने की बात कर रही हूं यू नो फॉर इंस्टेंस कई बार uh, uh, जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल ऐसे होता है कि uh, एक प्रिंसिपल को बोला जाए कि आपका अपना बच्चा है उसको पास कर दो फाइन अब इस एक्शन uh, का इंपैक्ट अगर मैं देखूं सारे प्रिंसिपल्स अगर यही करने लग जाए तो इसका इंपैक्ट या किस दिशा में हमारी कंट्री चली जाएगी अल्टीमेटली सारे नालायक और फूस भरती हो जाएगी जैसे शिक्षा अभियान वाले बच्चों के साथ होता है या सो इस चीज का आउटकम देख लें हमें ऐसा लगता है कि हमारे एक से कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता है फर्क पड़ता है निश्चित रूप से फर्क पड़ता है सो प्लीज मेक श्योर कि आपको पता हो कि आप किस दिशा की तरफ the direction in which you are taking your country and your society in so that impact needs to be seen yeah. second and then thirdly values enshrined in the preamble to the constitution okay values like liberty justice equality inka bahut mahatva hai hamari society mein inko upar rakhna hai hame apni case study ke answer mein right and then the fourth dimension is ideals like neutrality Objectivity, mm. hai, integrity, probity, compassion, empathy. Mm. You have reflect on mm. vocabulary. Aana exactly. Mm. And uh, another thing which I very, very strongly recommend is I have noticed this thing very frequently while I am checking the answer sheets. बच्चों को बहुत बार ऐसा लगता है कि जैसे for instance right to education uh, right to information है mm. right to information looks so similar that people land up writing answer from the paper two perspective mm. from the polity perspective mm. क्योंकि वहीं पे सुना होता है वहीं पे पढ़ा होता है mm. you need to write answer from the ethical perspective अगर right to information का ethical dimension आपने ethics के paper में highlight नहीं किया mm. so do you think ethics के paper में आप marks fetch कर लेंगे mm. तो वो एथिक्स स्पेसिफिक वोकैबुलरी आपको अपने पेपर में रिफ्लेक्ट करनी पड़ेगी राइट आई वुड से करनी चाहिए इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू फेच इन गुड मार्क्स एंड इफ यू आर प्लानिंग फॉर अ सिलेक्शन दैट्स व्हाट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू नीड टू फिल्टर द केस फ्रॉम द एथिकल लेंस एज वेल दैट्स व्हाट सो आई गेस दैट शुड कंक्लूडेड एंड प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ दीस पर्टिकुलर डायमेंशंस दैट वी हैव हाइलाइटेड फॉर यू व्हाइल एड्रेसिंग योर केस स्टडीज एंड ट्राई टू बिल्ड मोर अपॉन दीस डायमेंशंस व्हेनेवर एन एथिकल डिलेमा इज देयर Thank you so much. Thank you.